Hey, this is Rich, <clears throat> and uh, I wanted to show you guys a cool little project you can do, and it's a, um, I call it an LED windmill. Okay, here's my uh, five blader I have on my building here, and uh, you can see it's not very big, but it catches the wind easy, and uh, not much to look at in the day, but Here's what it looks like at night. It's really hard to see how cool it is. Okay, here's my uh, second one I have up at where we park our cars. And uh, it's just made out of a regular fan blade. And I can show you how to do some of that. And I have a, just like a Tupperware tub on it to protect the motor in the light. But it's cool looking. And here's what it looks like at night. There's Ain't that cool? That is so freaking cool. Okay, uh, we'll show you how to build one of these things. Now you need just some uh, half inch PVC. You need a T. And you'll need two um, pipe to pipe connectors. And then a little piece of PVC. You can buy four foot sections of this at Lowe's. It's real cheap. And all you do is put it together. Put this part. That'll be your tail. And then you'll want to get you a washer that's, uh, that this will fit right through. Pretty easy. You want this to fit through, but you don't want, you want this top thing to fit through. And I'll show you that. And what you do is Mount your short piece into there, and you slide that washer on there. And then you do a pipe to pipe, slide you another pipe, and do this. And it's a good thing to glue these together, too. So that'll be your base, and this will be your tail. And um, what I'm going to use, I just got a piece of this um, plastic sign stuff, like cardboard. It's really good to work with. And um, you'll just we we'll use that for the tail, so we'll just stick that on there like that. And they even have little connectors, little clamps to to hold it. You can just stick them on there and put your couple holes to mount it. Okay, now for your blade, you just get you an old fan blade. And this is a one we'll be using here. This is a, just a short metal blade. It's aluminum, and um, I just extended, took that same plastic cardboard looking stuff and uh, just extended it out and put a couple nuts, nuts and bolts in there to hold it together. And this works good. A five blader really picks up the wind good. But if you don't have one of them little ones do that, you can you can use um, just the regular other fan blade. This is a five blader. These these work great in the wind. And uh, actually uh, it's even a three blader that works that works good too. I've used I've used all of them. I've used a lot of blades. I was on a big kick once I made a ton of these. And uh but that's all you do, and and then what you want to do, you, you want to drill your hole in the center, and uh, for your shaft to go through, like this one I did a hole in, in the center here. And I'll show you why. Okay, now you have to find you a um, a step motor, stepper motor, and uh, here's a few I got. I got a whole drawer full of them. But you can get these in um, out of printers, like your home printer, if you have an old printer, if you bust it apart, there will at least probably be two motors in there. I've seen three in the, like in the bigger ones. But these are the ones you're going to be using, and these will, these will light a bunch of LEDs, you'd be surprised. I just got one hooked right here, you can see that, just give it a spin, that baby goes. But they'll, they'll do eight, nine, ten, ten LEDs with no problem. So for this one, we're going to use, we're going to use this, this little motor here. Now what you got to do is, you got to find you some way to secure this shaft. Something that either I always look for something that will fit down on there. And um, on this one, I found out this ink pen. This thing will fit right down on there. You want to find some way to secure it like that. This is the most important part. And um, like this one, I have a piece of aluminum that was the right size that fit on there. And it doesn't matter if it's crooked or not. This is what you want. You want. Now this one will um, 
I'll just take some Gorilla Glue or something and screw in here and um, pour it all in there and then set it down and we'll let it go. But that's what you want it. That's what you want right there. Okay, now this is all secure. You take another little piece of PVC, which is the same size that you've been using, and you, this will actually slip right down in there, which is how you want it. I drilled a little hole and just put a little screw in here, and that'll keep it from uh, slipping out. That's all you do. Now that should that should be a good tight fit. And now that you drilled your hole, you're going to set this down in there. And see what's going to happen. The motor is actually mounted on the blades. And the reason for that is that gives you the wires and you'll be extending that and putting your LEDs on your blades. Which is very cool. So let me uh, screw that on there and then I'll show you. All right. Now I got that on there, it should look just like that. Your shaft should be out the bottom and it'll spin. So actually what's happening, your shaft, the motor is working backwards. Instead of the motor mounted and the shaft spinning, the, 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 sh the motor is actually spinning around the shaft. And um, that's all you need to do on there. And what will happen is, once you have your tail and stuff, you'll just Put this down in there and, and glue it, and you'll have your your windmill. So that's how it should work. And th th these work great. And the smaller motors um, really work the best because they're low voltage, and you don't have to worry about putting any kind of current limiting resistor. And I've used the bigger ones, like these or this one, that could be you know seven volts or something. What I found, when the wind really picks up, it'll it'll kick it. It'll actually blow all your LEDs if you don't have a resistor on it. But these smaller ones, they don't do that because they never make a, they'll never make enough voltage to to blow it. But they they spin easy. And that's all you do. Now you you hook your LEDs onto it. Okay, a good source of LEDs is just to buy you a. A small strand of Christmas light, the new LED types. That way you get a, some multiple colors, which will really make the, uh, the wind turbine look cool. Okay, once you have all your LEDs, you'll want to take and um, add you a little bit of wire to it. Just extend it out. I put them together and I did solder them with a little soldering iron. That'll help hold it in the weather. And these will be the ones for the... Um, we're going to put two on the outside fins. And you should always at least put... Um, at least put two of them on the outside of the fence, just just about like that. Okay, we'll put the other one over here somewhere. And uh, this this stuff is is good if you have to use this because you can take it and have them channels. If you cut it right, you can just stick your wire, you know, right up through the channel. And it comes out on the other end, and you pull you enough. And what you do is just, um, you know, you want to fold this over. You can drill a couple holes, holes in there, and put your tie wrap across. Okay, now that I got them two mounted, you just pull your wires up to where your motor is. And on the step motors, there'll always be there's four, sometimes six wires on them, and you can pair them off. And um easy way to do that is just take a couple, put your LED and turn it with your hand, you'll be able to see.